Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I've been seeing a lot of guys out there having luck on small crankbaits, like bitsy minnows and this kind of thing. I think I'm gonna try a Rebel Cricket Hopper. Let's get it tied on and see if I can get a bite. Here's what I'm starting with, Rebel Crick Hopper. Yeah, let's get it tied on. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Okay, okay. I preserved the box all right. Looks like it was taped right here. I didn't even see it. Yeah, here we go. Looks like a cricket, acts like a crankbait. Let's get it tied on. There it is in all its cricket glory. Let's see if we can get a bite. Wow, that wind is picking up as well. I might have to add a few pinch on sinkers to get any kind of distance, but we're gonna try it as is first. Let's see if we can get a fish. Feels like it's swimming all right. Let's see if it's tracking one way or the other. It feels like it does all right at a slow pace. It sort of wants to swim up though. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it to see if I can figure out what it's doing. Yeah, nice and slow. If you reel it too fast, it wants to loop up towards the top of the water both directions, so it's not really an alignment issue. It's more of a speed issue. Fish, oh, I had a bite. I had a bite, it was a small bass. I saw him out there. Let's see if he's still there. Gotta go nice and slow with this. Oh, I think I'm tangled, there we go. I was tangled up. But it came free and now it's swimming again. Yeah, nice and slow, that's the secret so far. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario Jackson from the RWF. Keep it realistic with realistic fishing. This thing does have small hooks. If I have trouble hooking them, it might be because of these tiny treble hooks. I'm fairly confident I can get one though. Hmm. Ooh, I think I had a bite there. Again, missed the hookup though. These little hooks. That time I felt it for sure. Got him. All right. First bass of the day on the Crick Hopper. Look at that, bridged across his mouth.
this guy was not coming off the hook. I think I'm going to go back to the car and get the forceps. I'm getting them off the hook, but <laughs> I just hooked them again. I'm getting them off the hook, but it's going a little bit slow because these hooks are so small. There we go. First fish of the day right here. We got about a half pound bass. Went for that Rebel Crick Hopper. And I'm excited about that. I think this is the first fish I've ever caught on a Cricket Hopper. Feels good. Good sized fish. Went for it a couple times out there. Finally got it. Let's let him go. Ooh, he was ready. Before I go on, I'm going to go back to the car and get the forceps. It was silly of me to leave them there. I am excited about that first cricket hopper fish though. Pretty good size for such a small lure. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm stand two. I'm stand three. And we're two stands fishing. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. realistic. Yeah! Ta-da! That'll make things easier. All right, we're gonna take up where I left off. Fish, fish. Holy cow, that is not a bass. It was fighting like one though. Check out this bluegill. Wow. Now that's a big bluegill. Wow, there we go. Now that is a nice bluegill. Eight plus inches. Woo! Got him on that Rebel Crick Hopper. That's a nice fish. Let's let him go. Wow, you see that flip? I don't know if I'm more excited for that bluegill or the bass. Honestly, two great fish. This thing is cool. I gotta say it, after those two fish, this thing is cool. Something went for it and missed them. It's a little bit hard to hook them. I've had two bites that I've missed and two that I've caught, at least that I know of. You just got to keep working it. If you're getting bites and you're not hooking them, just cast it back out there. Take your time and catch them. Yeah, once you get a feel for it, it's not so bad. It's kind of light and it's kind of tricky to cast. But I fished with worse, that's for sure. Okay, so what I've decided to do is tie the braid directly to the lure. I had a mono leader on there that was a little bit of a thicker diameter, right? It was like 10 or 12 pound test. But now we're going with 10 pound braid. It's about four pound diameter. We'll see if it tracks a little bit better now. It might not make a difference, but it might. So let's keep trying. Hey, this is Tommy Enduring Patriot at the Open Air Fish Market. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Straight braid. Let's see how it does. Well, it's swimming all right. Let's see if we can get a bite. Fish on. Is that another bluegill or is that a bass? Fighting, whatever it is. It's another bluegill. Check it out. Wow. Yes, yes. 
Do I need my forceps? He bit that back hook. He got hooked for sure. Yep, let's get the forceps. Easy breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. Check this guy out. Another eight inch bluegill. Nice, nice. Let's let him go. Second bluegill on the cricket hopper. I had no idea it was such a good bluegill bait. All right, coming up on one of my favorite spots, the drain. You know, the further I get from that other boat ramp and that other dock, the fewer bites I'm getting. Ooh, I think I had something following it there. Let's get it back over there after I get it untangled. Might have had a bite there. Fish? I think I have a fish. I do. What do we got? Something small. Small bluegill. Hooked in the bottom of the mouth under his bottom lip. Yeah, aggressive guy here. Four inch bluegill. Went for this cricket hopper. <laughs> well, that's it for this trip. The rebel cricket hopper did pretty good. I caught a largemouth bass, several large bluegills, and a smaller aggressive bluegill. It was a good time. Now, I'm not saying this lure is perfect. It's actually a little bit difficult to hook fish. I don't know if I need to replace the hooks with larger ones. Maybe I just need to slow down. I'm not sure. I missed about as many fish as I caught today. And maybe that's because it's my first time fishing it. I'm not really sure. Overall, though, I like the Crick Hopper, and I recommend it. Hashtag not sponsored. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.